Coffee with the Editor is proudly brought to you by IRZ and the Railway Safety Regulator, RSR. Thanks, Philippa. So, um, as we spoke in the, in the presentation, this uh, LEIP is a very exciting initiative for the whole of the Limpopo province and indeed South Africa. And like we mentioned there, the location of this whole development is ideally suited to enable logistics and um, supply chain optimization along the whole, whole North-South corridor. So we mentioned there are three major cap captured markets really, with the LEIP being on the doorstep of the Bite Bridge North north-south corridor it means that all those trucks that you typically see running down on the N3 to Durban and back those can be captured onto rail which is really where Transnet tries to capture road to rail so that's the first ideal market the next would be the LEIP itself uh, as we mentioned in there the eco industrial solutions team are developing a massive economic enabler and economic development for the region which will not only produce its own transport volumes to go out of the LEIP but will also re require raw products to be imported into it. So we get a bi-directional flow into this LEIP and a captured market again. But then the LEIP itself with all its economic enabling will enable economic activity all over the northern Limpopo province and that is ideally where with this ITF, this intermodal terminal facility that we're developing would then facilitate the transport and logistics requirements of the broader economic area in the northern Limpopo province. So we are very exciting, excited by this initiative. This ITF is a, a business that will stand on its own legs. It will be supported by three very different markets and I think it's very important to be, play this role of enabling um, facility for the rest of the economic activity that can be um, exploited in that Limpopo area. Right, so the rail runners, for those who don't know, the idea is we would like to have a, a solution for general freight that can use the technologies or the, the advantages of both road and rail to try and put a, a road solution on a rail track. Now, right now the technology is still being developed, it's not really rolled out in any big way yet, but with the ITF what we're trying to achieve is to at least allow space and capability for if that technology does come to the fore and it does prove to be a viable and a feasible alternative, then at least we can also support that. Uh, at this early stage of development with the ITF, we try not to limit ourselves in any way, Roadrunners being one of the, the possible developments in future, but we're also allowing for all sorts of other terminals, uh, whether it's liquid, whether it's bulk minerals, container handling, and even other value-added services, um, all you know, in line with the logistics and the transport supply chain um, solution that we're trying to achieve along the whole corridor. Philippa, thanks so much. Uh, let's, let's hope it goes quickly. We all are desperate for a, a, a nice project in South Africa to enable the economic growth, but also from where I'm from, the rail transport sector, we'd like to see more volumes being captured onto rail, and this is ideally suited to achieve that objective. Yeah.